right friends welcome back to election commission of india reforms i would like to touch upon five important points and most of them are raised by election commission and look at the first aspect as per rule 90 of conduct of election rules 1961 upper limit of the total election expenditure is stipulated for individual candidates and for parliamentary polls the expenditure by individual candidate is rupees 70 lakh and at the same time in the assembly elections the maximum is rupees 28 lakh and this expenditure limit is for the contesting candidates but the irony is there is no limit on the party's expenditure during elections during elections parties can spend crores of rupees there is no limit but its party's candidate can spend only up to some limit in fact this is totally untenable because it is very difficult to bifurcate which is party's expenditure and at the same time which is its candidate's expenditure right so unless this clause is modified limiting the expenditure is not possible so the important thing to be done is this no limit on the party's expenditure during elections must go away look at point number 2 if you look at the report of association for democratic reforms 69% of the known funding for political parties that is around 8000 crores rupees 8000 crores this came from unknown sources this rupees 8000 crores came from unknown sources whereas it was barely 16% from known sources and remaining is other types of income so here the important point to note is 69% of the known funding of political parties is anonymous and we do not know how much is unknown funding that is different story and as per section 29c of representation of people act this says that political parties are required to submit details of the funding to the election commission of only those donations received from a person or company that are in excess of rupees 20000 so below 20000 they need not tell any details to the election commission and the finance act recently passed by the parliament does not reduce the limit for anonymous contributions still the limit of which the political parties are required to report to election commission of india is 20000 only but only the finance act reduced the cash donations part up to rupees 2000 right so here the political parties are required to submit details to election commission for the donations above rupees 20000 only only the cash donations limit is reduced to rupees 2000 so there is still no limit on anonymous donations in other forms including the newly introduced electoral bonds we are going to look at electoral bonds a short while from now let us look at issue number 3 recently in rk nagar by poll in tamil nadu several types of inducements to the voters like prepaid phone recharge coupons newspaper subscriptions milk tokens money transfers these type of inducements to the electors were noticed but as per the power delegated to election commission of india as per the 1989 amendments now you can say election commission of india can only countermand the election but they cannot debar the candidate or disqualify the candidate and now election commission is asking for the power to disqualify the candidates whenever they found that bribes were offered to the electors or voters right this is important issue which is to be solved by the central government 
the fourth one is of course pertaining to vv pat vv pat we have discussed several times and vv pat stands for water verifiable paper audit trail and now finally the cabinet approved for purchasing more than 16 lakh vv pads at an estimated cost of rupees 3174 crore and here vv pads allow independent verification or you can say subsequently also it facilitates for audit and when a voter presses a button on the evm paper slip is printed through the vv pat machine and remaining details i have given here you can go through it because we have discussed in editorial discussion and look into issue number 5 this is most important government is going to introduce electoral bonds these are going to be bearer instruments just like a currency note bearer instrument means just like a currency notes that means here the bearer instruments means they will conceal the identity of bond buyers and this will enable a process of political donations which will be anonymous basically the idea is to maintain the political donations transparent that is using the clean money for funding political parties this is fine up to this extent but let us look at a flaw please look into this slide the proposed bearer electoral bonds in fact the details are yet to be announced but as per the available news reports i have drafted this ppt this electoral bond system one positive is there but there are several negatives the positive aspect is after introduction of electoral bond system the companies whichever wants to donate to the political party have to purchase this bearer electoral bonds hence here only clean money will go for political funding that is advantage only clean money will go for political funding that is the advantage but what is the disadvantage the disadvantage is if the law is enacted the identity of donor a will not be known here you see suppose company a is giving a donation to some political party b some company a is giving a donation to political party b let us assume that it has given donation of rupees 1 crore suppose a company has given donation of rupees 1 crore to political party b and neither a that means neither the company nor the political party is required to share the details of so called donations only it will be clean money because they are purchasing electoral bonds the money which is given as a donation to the political party will be just clean money it is not black money but the details will not be known it will be anonymous donation so by keeping anonymous donation how anyone knows that the system is transparent let us assume a situation that a company has given rupees 1 crore as a donation to political party b and political party b can do favors of rupees 5 crore we may not be able to know that so the system of electoral bonds one advantage and the disadvantage is also there and when the government is looking at all these aspects before giving the guidelines government is required to look at all these aspects so we discuss today five important issues pertaining to various issues of election commission or you can say electoral reform process right with this let us conclude the first capsule have a nice day